Hey everyone, this is Scott Volker and in today's video I want to give you a tip if you're thinking about starting your own photography business. And this is probably not a tip that you're going to get from a lot of people. I say forget about the equipment for a minute, okay? Don't think about the camera, the lighting, you know, your studio, none of that. Don't even introduce that to your mind because what's going to happen is you're going to start taking all this information in and you're going to get confused, you're going to get overwhelmed and you're not going to pursue something that could be a lifelong dream for you, okay? What you want to do is cut that all out for a minute and just use your camera, any camera. I don't care if it's a point and shoot camera like this right here. I want you to start taking pictures and start being creative with the mindset that you're going to be putting these memories down on paper. And you want to start to ang get different angles. You want to crop in closer. So many people try to get full of everything. They want to get everything in the picture. Try to zoom in on certain spots of that image. Maybe just do a head shot, but twist your camera just a little bit. Learn about composition, posing, and taking your camera and translating what you see through that lens on paper. That's really, I think, the biggest advice anybody can give you when you're first starting. Because once you do that, then you start to develop this, this passion for it, and you start to see results, and you start to get feedback from people that they really like it and enjoy it. Then you can go and graduate to the high-end stuff. And you don't even need the high-end stuff if you want to be a professional. It just makes you look a little more professional, and it will give you more flexibility, and it will also give you better image quality, especially when you blow up the images. But don't get overwhelmed with that. Um, don't start thinking about all the equipment that you're going to need to have, because technically you can start small and build yourself up. So that's tip number one. Get out there with any camera. I don't care if it's a point-and-shoot camera, and start taking pictures and start being creative. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.